all right this is the third videos i make about this topic okay this uh yeah i took these questions from the igcsc mf past year paper which is 060612 may june's one two i think it's 2012 and the paper one two paper one two okay so okay let's have a look on these questions f 1200 hour means like the 12 pm all right a ship has position vector 54i plus 16j km relative to a lighthouse so where i is a unit vector due east and j is a unit vector due north right so the ship is traveling with a speed of 20 km per hour uh, in the directions 3i plus 4j right so yeah so in this case because okay the position vector the position vector here actually is relative to a lighthouse so you have to assume the lighthouse itself is the origin I mean it's, it's an O that means if I sketch out the catacent plan what I understand is my O here is the is my lighthouse All right it's, yeah it's the or origin O here All right so yeah so the position vector of the ship is 54 i plus 12 about uh, 16 j so it can be something like this so let's say uh due east we call i and due north we call j all right so when the question says something like 54 i so i assume it's something like 54 to this direction and 16 to this direction so assume this is 54 this is 16. so this is the position of the ships okay or the position vector of the ship so he, this one will be 16 so when it, when the question say 54 i plus 16 j you have to understand is something to do like this all right then the ship basically it tra travel 20 km per hour so the speed is 20 of ship uh. so the ships have the speed is 20 km per hour and yeah you have the direction in the direction 3i plus 4j all right all right so first one the question asks you to show that the position vector uh show that the position vector of the ships at 3 p.m or fifth or 1500 hours is this one so you will need to show what are uh, what happens to the three hour later so so in this case if i want to like easily get this answer of course what i would do is um yeah, I, I I want to know what is the velocities of the ships. Okay, so in order to get the velocity, yeah, you have few methods. So the one of the method I prefer, which is using the ratio of the triangle. So since we, I have the direction three i plus four j, so because of Pythagoras, I know three four five. This is three square plus four square, and then square the whole thing. You will get five over here, and I say. Direction basically is just the ratio. Is it just a ratio for the velocity? So if the questions tell you that the speed, I say in this case, if you want to use this one, you have to know speed actually is a hypotenuse. So meaning it's a longer uh, longest line hypotenuse. So the speed over here is 20, so I know hypotenuse for this triangle is 20. So, so if I want to get the vac uh, velocity of the ship, so I just want to make sure I understand the ratio. 5 to get 20, I just type multiple, uh, I just multiply 4. So if I multiply 4 here, this one is multiplied by 4 is 12, this one multiplied by 4 is 16. Then I can easily get the velocity of the ship, which is 12i plus 16j. Okay. So if the question asks me to calculate at three hours later because the ship actually have this position vector uh at twelve PM. So three PM yeah they asked me to find about the the position vector. So what I will do is in order to get the position vector, if you watch my last two videos, actually I explain first is your ori your original position vector means means at the twelve PM itself where where exactly the position of the ships. So which is 54i, I will write 54i, 16j, I write in the column vector. Of course you can still write 54i plus 16j, but I prefer this method because it's easier for me. 
plus new position vector. New position vector means you have to use the velocity multiple times. Because this one is the is the uh, original position vector. So this one is basically is original position vector mean at a 12 pm. Alright, so but then the shift is, is going to continue moving. So you will need to know the new new position vector. Just use velocity, which is 12 i flexing j multiple with time. Time over here is 3 hours. So I multiple with 3. So in this case, yeah, I just solve this one. This is 54, 16. Over here is plus 36, 48. Then I just plus them together, I will get 90 and 64. Done. Then, yeah, then I can write Sean, something like this. The question asked me to show. Okay, yeah, if you if you want to learn about this method, yeah, I, I think this method is easier if, if you ask me. Yeah, it's quite easy to understand. All right, so uh, let's see, do we have any other methods? If you, if you do not want to use this method, we have speed and we have the direction. Yeah, you still can do the second methods, which I mentioned in the in my first video. If you want to get the position vector, yeah, I'm I mean the uh, not position vector. If you want to get the velocity of of the ships, just remember it's a unit vector, unit vector of direction. Multiply with the speed. Yeah, you you can do this. So unit vector of the direction direction is three i plus four j, isn't it? So it will be three i plus four j divided by the square root of three square plus four square. Multiply with the speed which is twenty. So three is, yeah this the, the the bottom part if you understand this which is five, alright? So you can use calculator, you will get five. So you simplify, you will get four here, so it'll be twelve i plus sixteen j. Yeah, this is the velocity. Okay, so if you understand the ver velocity, so if the pos is the position of the ship is like if like fifty four i plus sixteen j, so you just imagine every one hour, the particle is going to move something like twelve sixteen. Let's say this is twelve, this is sixteen for one hour. The next hour, because this is cam per hour, isn't it? So that means every one hour the particle is going to move like this. So the next hour will be 12, 16. Next one will be 12, 16. So after three hours, you will have something like this. This is 12, 16. So if you understand about this one, the total moving here will be 3, 16, isn't it? So you move 48. So the, so the total moving here it will be 12 plus 12 plus 12 is 36. So you, you understand this one is I, this one is Z, isn't it? So that's mean your 54 have to plus 36. Have to plus 36i. And your j basically you have to plus 48j. Then you can still get the same answer, which is uh, 90i plus 64j. Okay, this is the second method. If you like cannot understand about this one, I hope I hope this method might be able to help you. Alright, so yeah. So yeah, we done the first part. It's quite simple. So I'm going to erase it. Okay. So yeah, let me just write back this is position vector. So if you do this method, the second part I think is quite simple. The question asks you to find the position vector of the ships t hour after twelve p.m. So at twelve p.m. itself, the position vector of the ships. First, this is the or original position vector, which is 54, 16. 54i plus 16j, plus the new position vector, which is velocity multiple time. So because the question wants to in turn of t, so what I will do over here is, I got my velocity just now, if 12 and 16, multiple t. So then I will join them together, which is 54 plus 12t over 16 plus 16t. Yeah, then I'm done. All right, so yeah, this one the the question just want you to like live in term of t means if in like thirteen 
hundred hours, that means it's one hour later. So that means I substitute one into the T here, then I can easily get my uh, new position vector. Alright, so yeah, this is sort of for formula for the ships. But then this one is important to understand, it's calculated at 12 p.m. Because like every different time, time actually if you will have the different position vector. So this one, this formula is greater at 12 p.m. Alright, this is something you have to understand. Okay, then uh, I erase here. Okay, then the second part, uh, third part. The question says a speed boot will leave the lighthouse. So the lighthouse is the origin. Uh, okay, it will leave the light lighthouse at 2 p.m. Okay, of 1400 hour. And the travel in a straight line to intercept the ships. Given that the boot will intercept the ships at uh, 4 p.m. or 1600 hour. Find the speed of the spoon. So we basically we know speed equals to distance over time. So now in order we have the time because the speed boot leave at 2 p.m. and meet at tell us uh, 4 p.m. I know the time basically is just two hours. Alright, but then I do not know the distance. So I will need to find a distance because in order to in order to let the speed put intercept with the ships. So first thing is I want to find the position vector of the ship at 4 p.m. Alright, because I want to know where exactly the position of the ship, then I can easily find a distance because because the speed put also live from the lighthouse. Means if this is the lighthouse, I mean the origin, yeah, so at 4 p.m. if the ship is over here then then uh then the speedboat will actually straight away goes to meet the ships correct or not so the speedboat also will need to arrive at the same position vector with the ship so that's mean if i can understand this is three four then i can easily get my distance which is five so so this is the reason why I want to find the position vector of the ships at the 4 p.m. Because the speedboat will need to go to that position ve vector at 4 p.m. Alright, so I hope I can make you understand this. Alright, so yeah, it's quite simple because uh, we because we actually we have the formula already. So 4 p.m. That's mean I substitute 4 into this formula. So it's just like it's just like this. Uh, 54 plus 12 multiple multiply by 4 because at 6 yeah I write it over here really 4 p.m. in 16 plus 16 4 so then what I will do here is I just use the calculator 48 plus 54 yeah the first one is 102 the second one is 64 plus 16 which is 80 so yes, this is the position vector of the ships at 4 p.m. and the speed boot also will need to go this uh yeah go to this position to actually meet the ships. So in order to get the distance, if you understand distance means the magnitudes of the position vector. Alright, so what I will do is in order to get the magnitudes mean the length, I will use 102 square plus 80 square and then I square it. Okay, just the magnitude formula. It's nothing special here. Then you can easily get the distance. So yeah, distance will be 102 square plus 80 square. And then square root answer. I will get the distance is 129.63 cam. So in order to get the speed, I will use distance divided by time. Your time is 2 hours. So divided by 2. Yeah, I will get 64 point. 82 km per hour right this is how we find the speed so you will need to understand uh, if you have the position vector how you find the distance all right so in order to find distance please you have you please remember this one yeah this distance actually equals to uh, the magnitudes of the position vector all right then yeah we go to the next part for Okay, so the question asks you to find the ver veracity of the speed boot relative to the ship. So now, you will, you will basically you will need to find the veracity of the speed boot. 
because this one is a speed this is not the uh, veracity so in order to get the veracity so what I will do is yeah if you can un understand it will be it will be good so let's say this is a lighthouse the origin is a lighthouse two hours later the speedboat basically the the speedboat actually will reach as the 102i plus ADJ so in order to get the veracity of the speedboat I can do like this because they spam two hours right so it's understand the veracity I say the veracity equals to a uh, position vector um, yeah it's a position vector multiple with time Alright, so and uh, of course I have to use the original position vector which is zero zero. So yeah, so I will I have the position vector. Okay, so the this but this position vector is like is two hours later. So I want to know like like what is the I'm I mean each hour because for veracity must be in cam per hour. So I want to know each hour. So basically it's very simple la. Of course this one just divide two for both. So I know this is fifty one. And this one will be 40 because just divide 2 here, divide 2 here. So, so yeah, I, ah, I write the wrong formula. No wonder I feel so weird when I'm explaining this one. <laughs> yeah, because position vector equals to veracity multiple time. Yes, this is a correct one. Yeah, so I have the position vector which is uh, 102, 80. In order to get a veracity, and I know my time is 2 hours. So I can move the 2 to the other side. I can easily get the veracity divided by 2. So it will be, it will be, ah, never mind. Divided by 2. So it's 1 over 2, 1, 0, 2, 80. Then I can easily get my veracity, which is 51, 40. Okay, just remember the correct formula. No wonder just now I find it a bit weird to explaining this one. So the veracity of the speed, speed boot is 51, 40. Alright. Then the last last part, part five, the angle of the direction of the speedboat make make with north. Make with north is a different idea with due north. So basically, the question one used to find the ang angle. So okay, so the this is the direction and the okay this is the velocity la. This is the velocity of speedboat. So the question one to know, yes. Uh, the velocity of the speedboat made with north that means the question asks you to find this angle because this one is a north right so basically you will need to find the angle of this one so it's quite simple if you understand actually you will see a right angle triangle here 90 degree so I will draw the right angle triangle or if you can draw this one it's the same thing so in order to get this angle here is 40 here is 51 I know I can easily do it by using tangent because tangent is OA Opposite over adjacent, which is 40. Then you can use the calculator, do something like shift tangent, 51, 40, over 40. Then you can easily get the angle. But make sure you calculate it in degree. So we shift tangent, 51 over 40. So, yeah, so the angle will be 51, 8, 9. Am I do something wrong here? Yeah, I think should be correct. Okay, so yeah, just make sure you you do the things correct and you press your calculator correct, then you can easily get the correct answer. Okay, this is the idea the question's trying to bring out is something like the angle of the direction of the speedboat, yeah, make with north. Alright, so yeah, make with north that means yeah from the velocity to the north. Okay, yeah, this question actually is not right, very, very hard. But then, yeah, you will need to understand a lot of things. One is how, yeah, how to find the distance and yeah, how to find the uh, veracity if, you, if the position vector is given and time is given. Right, of course, you have to understand a lot of things for this kind of questions. Yeah, anyways, I hope this video actually can help you understand better about this topic because this is already the third video I make about this topic. I think I will make one more video about this topic. Yeah, then I hope this few video actually can help you master this topic. Anyway, if you love this video, please subscribe my channel. Yeah, if you love this video and you can share and give me a thumb up. Anyways, thanks for watching.